Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Bravo's Scariest Movie Moments Challenge. Now, this is the segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're going to look at all 143 of Bravo's Scariest Movie Moments spread out over three specials. We're going to tell you the moment, whether we agree or disagree. If we disagree, we'll give one of our own and a few along the way. Today we're going to be talking about Blood Simple. Now, Blood Simple is from 1984, and it comes in at number 73 on the first list of Bravo's Top 100 Scariest Movie Moments. Now, the part that they depict is the final showdown. This is one I happen to agree with. Now, the final showdown for people who haven't seen Blood Simple don't want to really spoil anything, but there is a private eye who is hired to kill Francis McDormand's character. And the guy who plays the hitman, or the private eye, who turns hitman, is M. Emmett Walsh, who was absolutely great in the part. And he is hired to kill not only Francis McDormand's character, but also her lover. So he's killed her lover, and now he's after the woman character. She tricks him and goes out the window and ends up, when he's reaching around to try to open up the window to get in, to get her, she puts a knife through his hand and kind of... <laughs> How do I explain this? It, it kind of goes through his hand and into the wood, which is holding him there. So, he's still trying to kill her. But he's also trying to get his hand free so he can, you know, finish his job. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, the weird part about this movie is I saw this when I was very young. And I was probably not mature enough to understand why this is like a noir picture. I didn't even know what they were back then. So, you do have horror elements in a lot of Coen Brothers films, but they're not necessarily horror movies, per se. Take uh, No Country for Old Men, which was also on Bravo's list. That's a fantastic film. And... While I think it has more horror elements than maybe Blood Simple, Blood Simple does have some horror elements to it. I mean, he's basically stalking her at the end. So, anyway, um, do I agree? I know I've given a lot of, a lot of um, story on this, I guess. But I feel like this is a one that a lot of people haven't seen. So do I agree with it? Uh, yes, I do. Um, as far as other scenes, this is a tough one because every other scene that I would find even remotely creepy, because this film is really not about that, has to do with the M. Emmett Walsh character because he is clearly unbalanced. So I guess the part where he he kills the guy who hires him or... And the part with the fish, they focus a lot on the fish on the desk. And if you're, if you've seen the film, you'll know what I mean. But this is a good film. I still, I mean, I feel like No Country for Old Men is a masterpiece. Blood Simple is a good movie. This was their first movie, so they were learning. It's a good, it's a good movie, and I definitely recommend it. But just know that you're not going to really get a whole lot of horror in this. So, check out Blood Simple. And don't forget to check out Joe's video for Blood Simple. Physical media matters. And until next time, peace.